In today's video, I'm gonna be building a customized top for my LexiSpot Electric Height Adjustable Desk Frame, the Pro Series. That's a mouthful. A few weeks ago, I watched a video from my friend Sarah at 445 Design, and she built the most beautiful customized top for her LexiSpot desk. She did a live edge. The top was incredible. I've been in the market for a desk for a while now. I've just been looking for the perfect one. And after seeing her video, I knew this was the one for me. Now you can buy this desk with the top, but I think it's way more fun if you customize your own. So for my customized top, I am going to attempt an acrylic paint pour. So wish me luck. Now let's flip it. We take all of the parts out of the box and we start to build. Joe is helping me, so he's on one side and I'm on the other side. Putting this desk together was actually pretty easy. You just flip it upside down, and all you have to do is really just screw everything in, so it's not really complicated. It literally took us 18 minutes. I did some measurements to see how long I wanted to expand the desk. The center, you can pull it out and it, you can make the desk a lot longer. So if you wanted to fit it on a back wall, you could actually do that. But for my space, two feet by four feet is perfect. So I check all the edges on my board and I'm super happy that I found this size. The price is right, so we buy it. Now Joe suggested that we just pre-drill the holes in the bottom before I start painting or do my acrylic pour. That way when I'm done painting, we know exactly where to lay it on top and it will just be a lot easier. So now we took it back off the base and I have my tarp laid down and I have it on a little dolly. Because I'm using a non-porous surface, I have to add a primer and I can't just add any old primer. I need to add a primer for an acrylic paint to get the best results. This is where gesso comes in. That's what my primer is called. You can mix 25% water with your gesso and that helps to move it around and it helps to reduce some brush strokes. Now, <laughs> I was a little impulsive here and I just poured it on the MDF board, but when I do my next coat, I do pour it into a little cup and add a little water. That made it a lot easier. When you're applying your gesso, you want to go in every direction. For this board, I have to apply five whole coats at least, waiting two hours in between the coats, and then waiting 24 hours before applying my acrylic paint. Usually canvas is already primed, but we're not using canvas, so this is a crucial step and you don't want to skip it, because if you do, your acrylic paint will just get sucked up into your board or your furniture or whatever you're using if it's non-porous. And when it dries, it becomes all bumpy and crackly and all that nice work that you did gets totally ruined. This is my second coat and I just wanted to show you here that I did put it in a cup. And one last tip about using the gesso is it's really good to start from the center and move your way outwards. Before we get started, I want to go through all the supplies we're going to need to do an acrylic paint pour. The supplies I'm using today are going to be the ready mixed pouring paint. That means all I have to do is dump it on. I don't have to mix, um, there's no mixing medium that's needed. If you are going to use like, am, this is in Amsterdam, it's just regular acrylic paints. Um, regular acrylics, you would want to mix it with a medium such as flood flow trawl or uh, maybe a 60-40 mixture of your acrylics and water. These are already mixed, so it's gonna be really, really easy. Now, I do have to do a little bit of mixing because my Michaels did not have the one I wanted. I wanted titanium white and that was all I wanted, but they didn't have enough of these, so I had to get the metallic white also. So I'm just gonna mix this in a cup and we're gonna have as much as I need. Then I found this little ready mixed pouring paint set from Michaels for $19.99. You could also get it on Amazon, but it's a lot more. I think it's like $32.99 on Amazon. 
So you can even use um, a coupon for Michaels and get it at a really great deal. Then we have our torch. $19.99, about 20 bucks, 25 bucks on Amazon. And this is just gonna pop any of the bubbles that are in from when you pour. Then we're gonna use our mixing sticks. If you were using your mixing medium, you definitely wanna have these. They're only about $3 at Michael's or Amazon, a dollar at the dollar store. But we're gonna need these to mix these two colors together. Then you're gonna need a hair dryer. You can get a small hair dryer. You can get a craft one um, on Amazon, Michael's, anywhere really. Or you can use your own. We're using all the same brand and it's already already mixed, which means the consistency is all gonna be the same throughout my project, which is huge. When you're doing acrylic paint pouring, if you don't have the right consistency um, of your medium with your paint, it's gonna be difficult to blow it out. If one is thicker than the other, it's just not gonna give you the look that you want. So if you're just a beginner, I highly recommend using the ready to pour all together. These are about $14.99 a piece, and this was $19.99, so not a bad deal. And usually you don't need four of them. The only reason I have four is because this is a huge canvas that we're using. I'm just measuring out a 50-50 ratio for my whites, the metallic and the titanium white. I decided to pour my colors into some little cups just so that I can stir them really well. You want to always make sure that there's no lumps or clumps in your paint. Now it's time to pour, and I'm pouring my white mixture first. I'm gonna use the white as my base color for the entire desk. I end up pouring 52 ounces onto my two feet by four feet board. And then of course I just go for it with my hands to spread it. <laughs> you can use um, a spatula or like an art spatula if you would like, but I find it easiest just to use my fingers. It's messy, but it's funner that way. The brand of the acrylic paint I'm using is Artist Loft, and I like to work a little faster with this paint because it starts drying within a half an hour. Doing an acrylic paint pour on a large surface like this has its challenges. If your paint starts drying before you have it all leveled out and you go back to, maybe you have a little hole in there somewhere and you wanna pour a little bit more paint in and you think it's gonna level out, sometimes it won't if it's already drying. You'll be able to see where you poured the fresh paint it won't all blend in together. So that's really tricky. So working fast is kind of important on such a huge surface. You don't want to go too close because you don't want to like burn your uh, acrylic. You just want to pop the bubbles. You know what? I probably should have wore sh uh, short sleeve shirt because any sort of lint or dog hair or anything I have on my shirt tends to get into the paint. So something to think if, about if you're gonna do something like this. But most of the time you don't have to worry because you're not gonna be doing this on such a big surface. Most people do it on canvas but I think this would be super awesome as like the top of an, um, a furniture piece, maybe a nightstand, like an accent piece in your house. It would look really cool. So now I want to go from, hmm, maybe we'll have it going from here to, or, yeah. 
I was a little on the nervous side when I was doing the pour because my canvas was so big. If I could do it all over again, I would have taken my time pouring, been a little bit slower so that my pour, my lines, were thicker. They're pretty skinny right now. I might be going a little bit too fast, but I had a lot of coffee today. we might need some more. Now we're gonna take our white again and we're gonna pour it on the sides of this. We're gonna flood the sides. Ugh. Because when we use our hair dryer, we are going to end up folding this white over. All the colors are gonna come from underneath. It's just a really cool effect. And I'm actually gonna stand up for this. just see some little spots that I want to fill in. Holy smokes, you guys, I love it. Oh, I wish I would have done a little bit more here, but that got kind of confusing. There's a little bit too much white there.
Here I just finished putting the desk all together. And if you're interested in buying one of these desks, I'll leave a link in the description box below with a discount code. And here is my favorite feature. This is the desk working. I can sit with this desk or I can stand. Sometimes I edit my videos for two days. It takes forever sometimes. And this way I can stand and do it instead of hurting my back sitting. I can even use my stationary bike and exercise while I'm editing. <laughs> I love it. It's absolutely amazing. I have yet to seal the top. I'm thinking about doing an epoxy pour, but I have to wait at least two weeks for this acrylic paint to dry completely. It's only been two days, so I want to wait for it to cure nicely. And then I can either add a spray glossy sealer or an epoxy. The finish on this ready to pour paint is gloss, so it's really nice as it is, but I do want to protect it. Check out Flexispot.com because there are multiple products that you can choose from besides the desk frame. If you enjoyed this video, you can hit the like and subscribe button and I will see you next week.